guys. What formal education do you have? Plenty. I mean, formal education. Like a if, if you're going to argue, if you're going to argue from authority, that's a logical fallacy. Tell me why I'm wrong. Don't tell me how many degrees you have. Don't ask me to change the conversation. I'm actually. I, I would. I would argue I'm more informed because I didn't go to college and I've traveled the world and I've met with world leaders and I've read many books. So tell me. How am I oppressive? Can you name one example of how I'm oppressive? I can name a lot of examples. Can you name one? Name one example of how I'm oppressive because you just said it. Well, no, they just don't have facts. Can you tell me one time that I've been wrong about anything I've said? I had no idea. Thank you for informing me. Anytime. Maybe if you didn't go to college, you would learn more. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. You're so right. College is making a lot of young people dumber and more brainwashed. Just because you got a few degrees, it doesn't mean you're intelligent or you understand the way the world works. This dude, like many others, likes to accuse people of doing certain things. But as soon as you ask for an example, he can't give you one. It's like when you ask him to define one of these buzzwords like gaslighting or misogyny, they can never do that either. Depending on where the planets are, can that affect us physically? Like the Mercury in retrograde, um, is that a real thing for you? Do you believe in that? The good thing about science is when it's true, it's not a matter of whether you believe in it. It would be true for everyone at all times. So you're saying there's no truth to that. This is just made it up is astrology. It is complete bullshit. Yeah. It yeah. is left over from a time when people's egos were so large that they actually believed that a planet in the sky gave a rat's ass about <laughs> anything <laughs> in your life. Deciding on your future based on a few planets is the dumbest thing. How can planets decide your future when you are the one working hard for a better future? Now that Pluto is gone from the planet list, what will they use in this planet's place? Since many people's futures are dependent on Pluto now that it's removed from our solar system, did their future also vanish like that since it's a dwarf planet now? We got some pretty ladies here. Three pretty ladies together. That's all it takes. Seriously, we're just trying to bring awareness. Do you not like my outfit? I look okay. No, I am part of it. I'm gender fluid. I'm trans myself, so I can wear it. What are you talking about? See, why do they get, they get to decide who's trans and who isn't? That's it, these people. They're, we know you, Alex. What? And I'm also Alexandria. I wear this outfit a lot, okay? Well, I bet you, your mom would have loved this. Oh my god, see, isn't that funny? They're making fun of my dead mom. That's really nice. From the virus, right? Oh, dude, I didn't say the virus. These people are making fun of people's dead moms. Wow, these are really good people. What is sad is these are the people inclusive. They make fun of people's dead mom. It'll be on the internet. That's awesome. I know, she would have. My mom was my biggest fan. I know, but see, at least I. Yeah, but I was close with my mom. Yeah. Are you close with your family? You are close. It doesn't sound like it. I doubt it. I doubt it. But it doesn't matter. My mom is dead. We know that. It's not, she's not come back to life. I'm happy you're happy about it because I'm inclusive. He's almost fitting in. Got the attire down. Just missing the ridiculously bright colored haircut. Full on makeup. Also too smiley. These types of people never smile. They either attack you or bark at you seems to have more than two brain cells firing. It's amusing how those who preach inclusivity are often the quickest to attack anyone different. I feel that whenever you act unbothered in front of them, they are quick to attack you. This guy's got it down. They're even bringing up the guy's deceased mother. I mean, you have to have a screw loose to talk about someone's dead mother. The fact that they stooped so low to discussing a man's deceased mother just goes to show how they do not have any ounce of humanity left in them. Brookfield High School installed a tampon dispenser in a boy's restroom, which was vandalized within minutes. It was installed at 9.30 and by 9.52 it was destroyed. The principal said that he would reinstall the dispenser Although I think he should save time and just throw it on the floor instead. This high school's new motto, building better men, one tampon at a time. Next, they'll be installing beard trimmers in the girls' bathrooms. Actually, some of the girls on the softball team kind of need them. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole community. Why do it's always black people always have ridiculous ideas to share? Everybody knows children are not property, but it's because of the love between parents and children that parents take care of them, thinking about their future. I can guarantee that she was not loved by any that's why she talks like that. We need to let children be whatever they want to be. What if they want to be conservative? Not that. You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Why? Do you know it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, I'm not. 
Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't matter. Wait, we're Egypt. Tell me. You know what? We're Egypt. Dude, Phil, you have no oh, right to tell me Ooh, what I'm doing. Huh? We're Egypt. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Stop, stop, stop. You put your hands on me, no more. Okay. Well, what? Like, you know, make some, make some, some shit because of what the hair I have? That's no reason, yo. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? Just everyone's safety. It's a black person again. I am telling you, braids don't belong to only the black community. If we're delving into the topic of cultural appropriation, then it seems like a fair discussion to note that black people straightening their hair could also be considered cultural appropriation. Checking historical facts before making claims is always wise. It's worth noting that Egyptians, Celts, Vikings, and people from the Middle East also had dreadlocks. Now let's also touch on the origins of braids. It's essential to recognize that braids have an extensive history that spans across various cultures. They've been found in ancient civilizations like the Nile Valley, dating back thousands of years. In Africa, braiding was not only a way to style hair, but also had cultural significance, representing one's social status, age, religion, and even tribe affiliation. Similarly, indigenous peoples of the Americas, including Native American tribes, have a rich tradition of braiding hair, often using it as a form of communication, art, and cultural expression. Across Asia, too, braids have been a traditional method for managing and styling hair, with intricate designs and patterns varying by region. So, in discussions of cultural practices like hairstyles, it's crucial to understand the depth and diversity of their origins, recognizing that these styles often carry deep cultural meanings that span the globe throughout history. What do you think about like your blatantly inaccurate reporting on conservatives, and I would essentially say smearing, of people in this industry? I'm not, I'm not talking to you right now. Why not? It's, it's just a question. It's nice to meet you too, but do you think like it's appropriate for you? What are you doing here at this event? Are you writing hit pieces? Are you trying to gather information? Who's the who are you hate watching here? I don't know, you figure it out. That is Hannah, and she runs Hate Watch, and she writes for the SPLC, which we all know is a bastion of honesty. So she didn't want to answer any questions, of course. Um, she just said, have a great day. And now her and uh, her company are running away. For those who don't know what Hate Watch is, it's a website page on SPLC writing articles against people who don't support their ideas, mostly if people talk against LGBTQ. This is one of the worst superhero movies that I've seen. Worst superhero films I've ever seen in my life. The dumbest film ever created. The worst movie ever made. It is just that bad. The worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I've been watching Spider-Man since I was like five. There is no way a movie full of web-slinging baddies could possibly be bad. Woke culture is now destroying movies. In the past, when there was a female-oriented movie, there was no agenda in it. It was simple, with a great story, great screenplay, and great graphics. But now it's like women are better than men, but with no story in the movie. They don't have a lot of diversity here. It's just fins and fins and fins, and everywhere you look, they are just fins. So it's a bit difficult to blend in here. Um, but I think that's something that is solvable in the near future because more and more immigrants are coming here and it's good for the society. You are in Finland, lady, of course. There would be more Finns in there. Should I also say that in your home country there is no diversity because there are more Muslims there? We need more Christians in there. But wait, we can't do that because living conditions are bad there. That's why you ran away from your country to Finland for a better lifestyle, better opportunities, and to earn more money. UK wants to go to war. Would you join the military? No. I'm not from the country, so no. First of all, I'm not a UK citizen, I'm an immigrant. I'm Welsh? No, unfortunately not. I'm not from this country originally, you know? No. Uh, we're Irish, so... Uh... We don't like the UK military. No, thank you. Yeah. Where are you from? Brazil. Do you live here? Yes. Would you go to war for this country? No. I'm Pakistani, so... Are you a resident? I'm a resident. I've got dual nationality. You guys live in the UK? Yeah, yeah we do. Would you join the military? No, no. not from this country. If they say it's compulsory, what would you do? I'll just go back to Egypt, go back to my country. No, I'll just go back to my country. We will not let fear win. A world without trans people has never existed. 
A world without drag has never existed, and it never will. Queer people have always been here amongst us. They are our co-workers, they are our brothers, our sisters, they are our mothers, our fathers, they are our families. Drag is art, drag is culture, drag is educational, drag is creative, drag is comedy. I am happy as long as these people stay away from our children. Your Honor, may I ask one question? Sure. Um, may I, do I have to stay here in the men's unit still? Yeah, I don't make the rules up there, but they okay. should make a proper accommodation for you. You should be in a separate, a separate area. The person who took the banner advertising this event with my face on it wow. and set it on fire on this campus, you shut down the conversation. Do you think that was okay? Do you think it's okay to set banners on fire? I think people can do whatever you want to do. So there's no moral right or wrong? I think people can do whatever they want to do. They want to do. They I believe individuals should not have unrestricted freedom to do as they please. Let's consider allowing someone with radical views to run a college for a week, letting everyone act freely. I predict chaos, potentially leading to the place being damaged. Why do ugly people have this kind of attitude? She doesn't even realize that the person next to her is more embarrassed than her because of her actions. Videos on the internet are permanent, and an attitude like this will bite her back in the future. 